Um, this is my Himalayan 450. Um, my name's David. I, I um, uh, have been riding this for about 4,000 k. I'm about five foot nine and a half, uh, 100 kilos, and I'm in my late 60s. And I'm just loving it. It's it's glorious. On the road, coming up here, we're in we're in outback Queensland, a place called Idalia National Park, and it's been quite a trip to get here. The the road going part of this is fantastic. It just sits on 100, 110, whatever you want. Reasonable fuel economy. It doesn't get blown around much. Uh, it just feels quite stable. And in some of the corners that I've taken it through, it tracks really well. It does it really good. Here, we're being off-road in here. Oh, well, not off-road. On the tracks in here. Sand, rocks, ruts. Um, I can't fault it. Um, one of the reasons that I think it's so good, does so well in both on the road and on these tracks out here in the rough stuff is the six speed gearbox it's wide ratios first is quite low sixth is quite high and, it, and it's got enough torque to really pull this thing along at any time you like so it, it it just seems to be a delight you know to use it in any circumstance that i've been doing the one issue that i have while we're on this side of the bike is the side stand this damn thing leans over far too far and um, it makes it feel like it's a really heavy bike. But what I've done here, with the help of a mate, Dave, is to make a, a plate, about a 12mm plate, and bolt that onto the, onto the side stand. It's also bigger, which means it's good in things like the sand here. And that's just lifted it up enough that you don't notice that weight. I talk to you, we travel. We go long distances. We're not these people that go from pub to pub. So we've got to have ability to carry gear and this is the first time I've actually gone and got hard panniers I'm normally using Andy's soft panniers and these um, adventure first ones from Glen uh, I think they're really good and they, they look tough they seem to be that that they'd survive a fall um, and they hold a fair bit of gear uh, and also as you can see here you can put stuff on top of and like any of the bikes that we're using out in the deserts we're traveling out here, you need protection on it. You know, make sure the vital's protected. You know, there's a radiator guard, there's an engine guard, and up the top here, of course, the bark must have bark busters. So, um, what do I think of this bike? I think you already know. Fantastic. It really just is doing everything. It's a real cross between my GS1200 and the DRZ400. Uh, it's easy to ride. It's comfortable, it just seems quite capable here in the out the outback and it's it's just lovely, you know.